Hello, one tag here. I'm in Bacolod. Beautiful city, so many friendly people. They call it the city of smiles, but I would more call it the city of food. In this city, they have some of the best grilled chicken in all of Philippines. Chicken in asal. It actually originated from Bacolod, which is really interesting. And not only that, they have more local food. One of them is kansi, which is this huge bone marrow soup. It's gonna be such an amazing day. We're gonna have so much fun, so stick with me throughout the whole video, and I get to share this experience together together with you. Let's eat! Okay, so we're in Bacolod. It is early morning, it's very bright, it's very sunny and beautiful. There's roosters walking on the street, uh, there's nature, there's everything you can find here. It's such a beautiful place. Today is gonna be really exciting. We're gonna go for the first place, which is Kansai Bone Marrow Soup. It is a very known thing to eat here in Bacolod. I'm really excited, let's go check it out. sat down in Eron's uh, Kansi house. What I see on the table here, what she just gave me is their famous dish which is located here in this area, which is Kansi. And actually this is really interesting because there's two restaurants right next to each other and they're also serving the same thing, Kansi. And uh, I hope this is the best one, I'm not sure. This is by far the most crazy thing I've ever seen. It is a huge bone and in the bone you have the bone marrow. In the soup itself you have a lot of beef, a lot of chunks of beef in there. There's a very thin broth here uh, which has also been boiled together with the bone and uh, meat and uh, it's apparently slightly sour because they use their local fruit in here. I think they call it bat one, that's what they told me at least. My pronunciation is not that great but you can kind of see it's like a small green fruit and I also have the best crew watching me when I eat as well. <laughs> As the rule goes, you have to try the soup first, uh, just the broth. They told me, like I said, for five hours they've been boiling this. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely feel that sourness that she was talking about. It's, it's salty too. Mm. I wonder if we're gonna feel that flavor in the meat as well, that salty sourness. It's really interesting. Wow, there are huge chunks of meat in here. Oh, there's a lot of fat too. Super fatty beef. Here we go. Big spoon. Mm. That is really nice. Man. Oh, thank you. More soup. That is some wonderful meat. It's falling apart slowly. They have been boiling this for hours and hours. So it's really tender. I'm gonna go for big bite here. Oh man. And it goes so well together with that sour broth. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. I know exactly what this tool is gonna be used for. They gave me this and it's supposed to be used to get all the bone marrow out here. It is super buttery and smooth in there. This is a huge bone. There is a lot in here. Wow, look at that. So jiggly and smooth. I'm just gonna try the bone marrow, nothing else, just to see what we're dealing with here. Mmm, ma'am. It is like butter, but better than butter. That's gotta go so well with the beef. Let me try that. Bone marrow plus beef equals awesomeness. And I put that on there. There we go. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. I'm not fooling around here, guys. That is incredible. Super tendy, juicy meat. And then you have this really buttery, salty bone marrow together with that. Amazing. Why the hell not have I not had this before? Why? I should have. So surprised. I'm gonna take a big bite. What a perfect breakfast. 
God damn, that was the best soup I've had in a long time. It's really interesting with the bone marrow. Uh, right now we're gonna go to the Manukan chicken in Nassau. No experience to bakulot is complete without trying the chicken. So that is what we're gonna do with the time that we have left. So let's go check it out. Just hit the second spot here and it is the chicken in Asal. And this place is huge. It's called the Manukan country. And there's several spots and they're all kind of serving the same thing. But uh, there's one restaurant here that is really famous and they're supposed to cook the best chicken in Asal. And it's called Aidas and it's right behind me here. So let's go check it out. Okay, I got a special invitation to the kitchen, so let's take the chance and go inside. Hello, Hernet. Hello, Hernet. Oh my god, man, that's a good chicken. Yes, sir. Oh. Into the kitchen. How many chickens do you cook per day? Uh, 20 passer and 20 pichu. 20. I need a hundred by the weekend. Okay, you need to you need to increase the amount. <laughs> ten passer and ten pichu. Wow, It's a very beautiful kitchen. There's a lot of things going on here. It's really hot. There's. They're grilling several sticks of some delicious uh, chicken sticks here. They're actually making by order. That means that they will start grilling when you order it. So that's really fresh. They have a nice secret sauce that they are marinating the chicken with. And they have uh, several parts of the chicken that you can choose from. They have the breast, they have the leg. It goes really charcoal and golden. It looks perfect. And the smell coming out from the kitchen. It's really nice. <laughs> We got into the kitchen, we get to see some grilling. I'm really happy about that. Seriously, take a good look at that chicken. It's glistening from the light. It looks delicious. I ordered three different things. We have the chicken intestines, dinai, really nice and grilled. And then we have the leg, ba, and we have pecho, which is like the breast. And the color coming from this is really nice. You have that chicken oily redness to it. It looks beautiful. And on the side, you have the rice, which is very famous here, which is the garlic rice. And and I think it also has some of that chicken oil flavor. And on top of it, you have that crispy garlic as well. You know what, here in Philippines, the local flavor is salty and sour. So they have something that is called calamansi, which is kind of like a mix between lime and orange. So it's slightly sour and sweet. You pour that into the bowl here together with the chili and you have some soy sauce as well. That is the sauce you're gonna use for the dipping, for the flavoring and everything. Yeah, let's get this started, guys. It looks beautiful and it's get I'm getting really hungry just by watching this. Pecho. Mm. There is some unbelievably tender chicken. Oh, man. Salty and I immediately felt that charcoal flavor from the grill. The skin is so nice too. Mm. It's almost the best part. You know what? I need the rice right now. It's almost like sticky rice. It has that nice consistency and it's really oily too from the chicken fat. It's really nice. Okay, I'm saving the best part for last, which I know is gonna be the leg. It's the most juiciest part. I know that already. So I'm gonna go for some of the chicken intestines. It's controversial here, but you know what? I gotta try. Mm. This is fantastic. It's really good. I love it. No odor, no bad smell, nothing. It's really good. A little bit salty and sweet, and there's some nice consistency to it. Not like the other parts of the meat. Mmm. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's 
almost like lime. It's really identical. It's just slightly more sweet. Okay, moving on to the best part here, the leg. I know this is gonna be so good. I'm not sure what secret sauce they have in the kitchen, but it's definitely in here. Mm. The chicken leg brings this to another level. It's really fatty and juicy. More charcoal flavor to it. That was some awesome chicken. I have to thank the crew here. Thank you very much. Thank you. What an awesome day of full eating. Uh, Bacolod is an amazing city, so many friendly people. I had a great time staying here and it is worth flying to uh, Bacolod just to try the chicken in Asal. It is so special and there's a good reason why it's so famous across all the Philippines. Philippines has a bad rumor of not having a developed or good food culture. And uh, during my stay here in Philippines, that has been totally wrong. Uh, everything I had so far during my 30 days here has been pure awesome. I think this marks the end of this video. This also marks the end of my trip altogether here in Philippines actually. Thank you so much for sticking around with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe, like and tell me what you think of the video. Stay tuned for more videos in the future and as always guys, stay hungry. Hello, one tiger here. I'm in Cebu. No, I'm not in Cebu. <laughs>